Hey guys and welcome. Well, today we're not going to do a deep dive, we're going to do a first dive, okay? I recently got Redshift and I'm going to check it out for the first time and you guys can come along for the ride. Here we go. Okay guys, well we're in Maya 2018 as you can see and because it's Monday this should be a deep dive Monday video but it's not. It's not going to be a deep dive video, it's going to be a first dive video for the simple reason that I'm going to do something completely new. Uh, I just acquired Redshift as a new uh, GPU based renderer and I'm kind of playing around with that and I wanted to share that first experience with you guys. All right? So it's not necessarily a tutorial, it's more a look along with me. Right? So I created a scene here with a couple of plates that I want to uh, turn into glass. I did something similar with Arnold and with Mental Ray just to see how it compares, right? So I created a, a backdrop and I applied a default um, redshift material to it simply by red, uh, right clicking, going to assign new material, redshift shader, redshift material, okay? And then what I did is I went in into the attribute editor, I went into the color, and I set the reflection to zero uh, for the simple reason that if I open up my IPR render right here like this and I were to go in and bump up that reflection you would see the lights reflect in the background and I want that okay so we're gonna bring that down all good so that's uh, my backdrop okay now there's something else we need to do um, light is gonna go through the glass and it's gonna hit the floor and it's gonna create a caustic effect okay so what I need to do is I need to prepare that background for that. So I'm going to go into the actual uh, plane shape here. And uh, let's see, hopefully I got the right one. I always mix that up. Like I said, it's a first go at it. There you go. So under Redshift, you have uh, the option to turn on the visibility. Now, when you do that, you can go down and here it says, um, let's see caustic photons so visible to caustic photons and cast caustic photons now turn that one on turn that one off okay so that one is now prepared now you need to do something similar with the lights so I'm going to go into that first light and let's go in here and let's see where we're at uh, shadows are enabled good good we're gonna to go to photon and we're gonna emit caustic photons and let's set that to five and let's set that to five million okay we can do the same here so we're gonna emit we're gonna set that to five and five million and on the one on the right same deal five and five million which leaves us with our glass plates now they all receive the default uh, Redshift material. However, they receive that individually. So I can change the setting on each individual plate of glass, okay? So uh, I'm gonna use a preset here. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna click on the bottom one and I'm gonna go into the properties. And as you can see, it's called a uh, material uh, 12 in this case. I'm gonna go to my material and uh, I need to uh, tweak the settings there as well. Let me see. The simple reason that I need to prepare that as well. The redshift visibility. There you go. We're gonna go to cast and turn that one off. We're gonna go to So caustics are set up for the scene. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bottom plate here, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna use a preset, so I'm gonna go into the material, and instead of custom, I'm gonna go to glass. Now, when I do that, and I'll just uh, open up this guy, and hit IPR. You're gonna see that it created glass material, but it's hard to see because it's flat on the floor, right? So we're just gonna close this down a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to refraction and we're going to change the color to red. And as you can see, that has an immediate effect. Now I will just change this angle here so you can see it. And there you have it. Okay. 
and uh, it will become more apparent as we start to move new layers on top okay so uh, i'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit we'll take uh, the next guy we'll go in we'll set that to uh, glass as well and let's go into the refraction let's turn that into blue and as we move in you're going to see here that we now can see through the blue and we can see the red as well now there's a value here to set samples that's kind of important okay so we're going to bump that way up we're going to set this to about 500 all right and i want to do the same on the bottom one so we're going to set that to about 500 as well now keep in mind that the caustics that we set for this glass they will not appear in an IPR render. They will only appear in a full render. Okay, so just that you're aware. Let me just put this guy back in place so we can see what we're doing here. And we'll go to, let's see, number three, uh, which is this guy. Let's go in. We'll do glass. We'll do, oh, not there. We'll go into refraction. We'll take something like green there you go we'll go in here and i forgot to change the samples uh, let's see 500 yep we'll go in here we'll go into custom once again we'll get a glass we'll change the refraction we'll do i don't know yellow which is fine and then we're going to go in and change the samples once again right there and then we're going to take the last one on top and we're going to go in once again, change that to glass, change our refraction to, uh, let me see, I don't know, purple. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Purple. And we're going to go in and we're going to set samples to 500. There you go. Okay. Now, um, because I changed the angle, we are looking on the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view and bookmark and glass one. And here is our scene. And we've got one light source shining straight on top, which is not ideal, which is most probably this guy. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, it is. I just hit H to hide that. So that's okay. We're going to go to our bookmark. We're going to open this guy up. We're going to hit IPR. Okay, now you can clearly see that that has worked. Uh, like I said, caustics not so much because it doesn't work in IPR. So we're going to go into the render settings and uh, let's see the common output here. Let's set that to uh, 2K square. Why not? Um, I'll export it as a TIFF, which is okay. Uh, let's see the output here. Now I don't want any progressive rendering, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay and uh, let's see i need to deal with my caustic settings here in the render settings so for that i need to go to photon right now first let's see here the gi yeah leave that alone photon okay so uh caustics is enabled that's good and then the tracing depth i'm gonna leave that alone but i'm just going to increase this number here if it allows me to do that yeah there you go took a while to about here okay so let's do a, a final render pass here i'll just change that angle just a little bit i think that looks a bit better and then we're going to go in and we're going to do a full render here we go well there you have it guys i'm uh, quite sure that i forgot a bunch of things like i said this is my uh, basically my first experience with the uh, redshift uh, I kind of like the result, but in the next uh, coming uh, weeks and months, I'll be uh, diving into this a lot more, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, share a lot of this stuff with you guys, all right? So um, let me know anyway if you like the video, if you want me to do more of these Redshift videos. And uh, that said, thank you very much for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.